Good morning. It is Saturday the 16th of March and it is Alton Towers opening day. It's definitely an early start this morning and it's a fresh start as well. My car is literally frozen solid. Yo, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today it is the 16th of March. It is Alton Towers opening day, but not just the opening day of the main season for 2024 it is also Nemesis Reborn. It's going to be really good, isn't it? Looking really it is, forward yeah. to getting there. And it is an early start. His mate's yeah. got his phone on him. I have. The current time is is quarter past six. Quarter past six in the morning. So. And we're setting off um, in literally a couple of minutes to, to get there. So I believe quite a lot of people are actually going to be there as well already. So we're going to have to see, aren't we, when we get there. Yeah. Uh, but it is a fresh start this morning. We're literally in my car and it is frozen solid. So It is. So we need to um, get that defrosted so we can get on our way. <laughs> we and do. And meet, meet everyone else there. <laughs> probably yeah. we're, we're probably a bit late, to be honest. Probably should have set yeah. up at like quarter past five. <laughs> probably should set off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but we will set off now and we'll update you all when we get to the park. So we have now arrived at the park just parked up now to be fair there isn't actually that many people here and as we went past the entrance we didn't really see i mean there was a few people stood there but it yeah. doesn't actually look that busy so potentially we could be like a few of the first people to to get through the gates this yeah. morning there seems to be a few more cars pulling up a few keep coming in coming in fuse but yeah, obviously all the hotels are going to be there anyway because they've got a shorter walk. Yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll so they'll just look I don't know how many people are going to be in there, um, but yeah, we've got to take that into consideration. But we've got a f literally bag full of yeah. snacks that will keep us um, going. Yeah, and the, the time is now twenty past seven. Twenty past seven. But uh, I suppose, I suppose what you have got to take into consideration as well that me and uh, Myth are absolute athletes. And absolutely can bomb it over there within two minutes flat. Can well, do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, saying that actually, <laughs> um, we've got like well, I've got a big bag as well on here, so the maid's got all that one. So, will we be able to get there quick? They'll give it a good go. Hang on, let's have a quick look. Oh, there it is. I've not got the soundtrack on there. I thought they would have had that on this morning, like blaring. Yeah, they would have. <laughs> I think it would have been the right thing to do, but it does look very beautiful right there. Looks gorgeous. Absolutely. And so, yeah, and the soundtrack would have just topped it off, but maybe, maybe they're going to open save, it and it. then play the soundtrack. It could do. Probably could do. We're expecting an opening show, so uh, guessing there will be one. There was one uh, with Nemesis Subterra when that reopened, so hopefully we're going to get another one. But uh, we'll get to the park entrance now. Give you an update when we get over there. Current update as of 7.30 this morning. There is a fair few actually waiting, but still, still gonna be sort of the first few to go in, which is uh, which is good. So now we can crack open our uh, food. Okay, so current update as of quarter past eight. Uh, it is circling around actually quite a bit around here, but it's quite hard to say how far it's actually going back now. Um, Unless actually, obviously, you go and have a look, but there is a lot of people here now, and sun is still out shining. Um, but yeah, so we should be in the park within the next 45 minutes, hopefully. There we go. We've just been let through the uh, security check, very secure checks today. Um, now we're just waiting to go in. <laughs> We are in. We are in. Here we go. We got the banners up. <laughs> Everyone's running. Currently running. Maze is dead. <laughs> Everyone's running. <sighs> I think people ran to like gloomy wood, and now they just stopped. <laughs> But we have decided to come this way through Gloomy Wood. Don't know if it's the best option. I think. I mean, it is. I, think, I think it is. I think it's the quickest. So we'll keep heading up there. We'll see you over at Nemesis. Here we go, walking to the Forbidden Valley. That looks 
really, really good. Amazing. That's some terror. Oh, we got loads of new theme in. Nice chopper. Yeah. Should have got that. Honestly, here. finding it yeah. hard to talk right now. Yeah. But <laughs> I've only got the arcade that's been. They've done switch to the arcade. Yeah. Look at that. That's amazing. That. Here we go. We're almost there, mate. Nice. Oh, we've got some people here. Yeah, help me. Here we go, and this is containment zone. There we go, everyone's had an up. There it is, it's reborn, there's a new signage, new theme in, and there it is. Got the lovely remastered theme tune on. Lovely soundtrack, and then we've got that piece of track there from Nemesis. Very, very good theming by the looks of it so far. So we are in the queue and that means we have secured our place. Yes. No one's gonna go in, in front of us now. We are basically secured, aren't we? Can we just say how absolutely tiring that was? Yeah. Got a big heavy bag on my back as well. <laughs> Maze had like bag. two bags. <laughs> God, but it was all worth it. I already know. I had like that. a pain in my back yeah. like, for quite a lot of it. Uh, so probably was best to stop then, but uh, yeah. We've done all the uh, key line as well, actually. But yeah, loving this new soundtrack. I'm loving really, it. Really, really good, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's amazing. So, <laughs> go around the queue and show you all the new bits of theming. Another big piece of theming here. Looking really, really well done. Here it is. A nice little observation there. I love that. Looks like we have finally stopped and literally just at the lift hill there. Yeah, yeah. So don't know how long it is yeah, from here. I don't know because it's a completely different route. It comes around the back and everything. So. But yeah, keep you updated along the way. There it is, oh, yeah. first train. That looks like an absolute beauty. It actually sounds like yeah. really smooth. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Didn't it like going yeah, there? It did, actually. It's not quite. I mean, it is new. Usual raw. Well, yeah. Really yeah. There it is, the first train, uh, which was empty, obviously. Yeah, it was empty, yeah. yeah. There we go, we've got people on it. First train with people. Hype is definitely building up around the area oh, with that building. first train there. Well, you know one thing that I did notice about the first train? Did not hear any oh yes. No. That will be changing when changing when Miss Wong gets on it. Definitely will be. We got some major bit of theme in here as well. The track coming out of the like the shipping container. Vital signs escalating. We've got a nice audio as well. We are through. Yeah. We are through. <laughs> so, 
about to enter the station building now, so okay. we'll see you after Nemesis is reborn and give our full review of the uh, well, the new ride experience. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure the whole um, getting up really early is all worth it. It's definitely going to be worth it's it. Good. It's already worth it, and I'm not even going to. Well, it's four and a half hours to yeah. so It's definitely worth it. <laughs> so let's see where we get off. just come off a Nemesis Reborn uh, after about an hour and 15 minutes um, which is what it took from where we were and when it started going round um, obviously not counting the bit in the front where we got like at the entrance plaza for half seven yeah. this morning not counting that um, but yeah what can I say it's Nemesis but with a whole lot more theming around it uh, new effects like we had all the smoke effects just seeing the eye as well like we didn't even see that did we like no, to begin no. with and just seeing it now it looks really really good how they've done it all um, and you know I've got to say it's definitely a lot smoother as well obviously we know the supports have been filled with sand so it's not really got like that raw to it anymore it, it seems a bit quieter um, but definitely a whole lot smoother it just sounds smooth as well doesn't it yeah I mean yeah, like I know we was at the front but I just felt like there was no like no head banging. Don't you really feel like there was Yeah, any, there wasn't at all actually. Um, it was just like Yeah, that's what I forgot really to mention smooth. as well. We got the front. Yeah. So we they got, actually well, that was they, they yeah. removed the front row, haven't they? So yeah, they have can't keep it anymore. So we was like we're gonna keep for the front and then yeah, they didn't have it. To, yeah. But and then we fell lucky and actually got front row. Like no, that I don't is, know. That is not exactly uh, give it another go. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, especially not that right anyway. Um, so we're gonna go and have a look at where the queue is at now. I yeah. bet, but it's going all the way through like gloomy wood and past the curse, probably. Oh, it matters. More than likely, it does. It like you say, it does say it's like what four and a half hours now. Yeah. So very interesting to see where it is. But yeah, definitely. I mean, it definitely looks a lot better as well in the area now. Like, just it just looks fresh. It looks new. And it is obviously it's updated for Bidding Valley now. It's freshened up the area a lot, definitely a lot. I mean, it has like going around there. You can still hear a little bit of a roar, you can. Uh, but it's just not as it was basically. Uh, but, like you say, well, one positive thing we did point out was that because a lot quite a ride, you could hear the OES a lot more. Yeah. So got to look at the positives. Well, more reason to get some OES. Yeah, yeah definitely. Uh, so. I've got to show you as well actually where Ripsaw was, around that area, it looks like there's some work going off, um, where they've like sort of put the boarding up, um, and then we're going to go and check where the queue actually ends. It's going to be interesting, very interesting. We got John Wardley himself signing uh, Nemesis photos outside the exit. The former site of Ripsaw. This is where the a new flat ride's going if it gets approved. And then to the left of that, we've got the supply store Bunker 94, which is the brand new shop. Obviously, it's got quite a bit of a queue with being new, uh, but it's going up uh, all the way up that way. So, just there. So, yeah be obviously full of Nemesis Reborn merch. <laughs> Might as well continue with the theme of Nemesis. And Phalanx. Yes, <laughs> and get on Nemesis Subterra. It's literally just opened. So we're right at the front of the queue. It's literally going to be straight on. Yeah. Uh, so might as well get on it now uh, before it gets really long. Because obviously with everyone in Nemesis Reborn, they're going to probably head straight there after, aren't yeah. they? So this, this is probably going to get busy because of the whole Nemesis packed in this area. So we've literally got on it just as it's reopening. Yeah. Amazing. So uh, let's get on Subterra. Straight on this ride are the most restricted on the car. Please, please wheelchairs to accommodate you all. We may have to jig people around. Just come off Nemesis at Subterra. 
uh, it did break down on us, didn't it? So it was a little bit longer than we was expecting. <laughs> um, however, basically we was the second group in, so yeah, very, very good. Um, I do like how, like, with the new effects and stuff in there, actually. Like, there, there is a couple of new things. Um, but I, f I think I noticed it more because they sort of held us in the cave as well. Yeah, uh, and yeah. you could hear, like, all the cave sound effects. So, yeah, it was really, really good. So that is basically all things Nemesis yeah. it's done today. Pretty much. <laughs> anyway, um, so we're going to head to the front entrance now because uh, we've got a poster to pick up, apparently. So basically, if or if you scan the QR code like last year on Nemesis and got all of the updates, um, they give you a code on one of the emails and then you've obviously sent it out now um, yeah. to basically say to, if you've still got that code, told us to keep it safe, so if you haven't done then, well, it's too yeah. bad, but... And then you just have go to go back, won't you, on your, yeah. your emails exactly. or whatever. Unless you've deleted it, but <laughs> yeah. you can collect your free exclusive poster in between... Yeah, between now and like I think like a few days, like the got a few days, aren't you? Yeah, but it's while socks yeah, last. last, so so yeah. it might not be, so. might not last if you don't get it, you know, straight away. Um, so yeah, we're going to collect that. So we definitely got it. Yeah, and then it's just some normal rides away from Nemesis until later because it is all turn after dark. So the Ooh. park is open till eight. Um, we are going to go and get a night ride on at Nemesis again cool. later. And it has considerably come down, actually, yeah. hasn't it? Like, I Quite think it, so it was like 275 minutes, uh, and now it's on 180, so it has come down, still and I bet, it, I bet it will <laughs> come down a little bit more. Um, still three hours. A few hours. All so. oh, right, I thought you said still two hours. Yeah. <laughs> Here's Wicker Man. Um, so, yeah, we'll uh, update you where, where we are next. Um, I'm probably going to get some lunch, actually, because I'm... Starving. I'm quite hungry as well. So we'll probably collect this poster and then get lunch after that. Um, might as well because we've got like a whole bag of it. Yeah, and it'd be a bit wide so once the <laughs> bit's gone out. Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> we've just got the poster and here it is Nemesis Reborn. She's back with a vengeance. Very, very nice poster. So definitely worth picking one up. So we're going to take these back to the car and then we'll uh, come back in the park and hopefully get on something else. the wicker man and it has actually had some new like sort of lighting and effects uh, for this season so it was now nice to see all the orange lights on it because obviously uh, they have all been put in for the season so very very nice and it was very smoky actually around there uh, definitely had some smoke effects going off and they did have a bit of a tent didn't they over the uh, yeah, like yeah. basically where you go in uh, before like the building where the pre-show is yeah, they had a bit of like a added tent, added tent thing that over makes it. Sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I saw it last minute, so I didn't actually get it on. Um, so what we're doing now is we're going to go over to the X sector because we do want to get on the Smiler today. However, I think it's like 60 minutes still. Um, I was thinking it was going to go down, but that one sort of stayed the same like all day. Um, so we're gonna go over there because Oblivion actually is on 10 minutes so get, on that. get straight on that and then do the smiler after and then probably by then it'll be time to go back over to uh, Forbidden Valley won't it for, yeah, a, for, a, for some a, night ride on ride on Nemesis yeah, Reborn night ride on Nemesis Reborn um, but yeah considering we've been here like all day like fr from really early it has gone pretty quick to be fair. It has gone really quick. And we've not really done too much, have we? No, considering we did get Nemesis done pretty sharpish after park opening. 
But it is a busy day. Uh, but it, yeah, it's really busy. And it has just started raining a little bit, so that's hence why the uh, AT umbr- uh, umbrella's up. Yeah. Um, so we'll go over to the X Sector, get on Oblivion and a Smiler, and then we'll see where we head from there. Putting the umbrella down before we go in the Arborave. Right. First up rave of the 2024 season, you ready? What was that? <laughs> That's how much I was off raving. <laughs> his phone just like absolutely flew out of his pocket. First up rave of the 2024 season. Absolutely love it. I did just want to mention is as I was going down obviously it's all been refreshed but there's a new orange ring right around the rim there and I just noticed it as I went down and I thought, I thought what a lovely touch I think the don't look down sign as well has also been repainted if I'm not wrong and, and also the excite there coming out that's been a bit shop. touched up <laughs> the shop so yeah looking uh, very good to see a bit of towers loving care there just come off the smiler and it was nice to see some new effects in there as well like with the yeah. projection and the, the strobe lights and also as well like the disco lights basically yeah. having a disco it's not for, yeah it's like a night venue now as well yeah amazing yeah, so it's nice to see that um, a bit of a uh, TLC yeah we were saying actually Tower Love and Care have been very busy they are this close season they've definitely yeah done it's I think the, a lot more than they have done in previous yeah, because <laughs> but yeah, they definitely have done a lot more this season than they normally do. I think. Yeah. Um, like, you seem to know. Like, we've been noticing it like all day. So, really good. Uh, and there we go. The towers all lit up. Amazing. Definitely feels like really weird. Like, considering it's March and we're in the park and it's dark. I know because it feels really weird because it's yeah. only like sort of scare fest and you know fireworks uh, and Christmas and that where we actually are in the park when it's dark. So. Definitely uh, makes a big t- uh, difference. It does, but at it. the same time, I am absolutely loving it. And they should definitely do like more often, like weekends of like up to late or something. Yeah, let's hope we do see yeah. some more. Um, like, like if this goes down well, which by the looks of things it has, um, but whether that is just it's because mainly, of the yeah. reborn, <laughs> Nemesis reborn, but we'll have to see because it's on the next two Saturdays, I believe. Um, so we'll have to see. Uh, what they are like but we're going to head over to forbidden valley again now we're going to check out the nemesis shop the nemesis reborn shop because um we was going to check that out earlier but it had quite a big queue so we decided to come back to it after check out all the new merch in today's yeah yeah i mean you've got, you've got to haven't you <laughs> got to we've seen quite a lot of merch about so it looks like there might be quite a bit in there so to explore that we do and then obviously we're going to get a nighttime ride on nemesis reborn uh, for our second ride of the day on there so that'll be a good to see obviously all the effects and stuff they put in um like implemented in uh, in the dark i'm looking forward to seeing that massive eye actually in the dark yeah that i think that's gonna look yeah. good i think that's why they opened it tight so i can see a massive eye in the dark let's go yeah that's the only reason <laughs> so uh, we'll head over to forbidden valley and actually, I think Nemesis Reborn has gone up a little bit because it went down to like 80 minutes or something. But obviously, everyone's gone over there now for a night ride, so it's gone up to like 95 minutes now. 
but uh, we'll let you know how long we queue for it. But anyway, we'll see you in the shop first and we'll show you basically all the new merch. So what we've got in here is we've got these things, doing some sort of wristband, Nemesis Reborn, Nemesis Subterra merch, the phallic foam grip. Oh, something going off in here. It's got, it's got some lighting, we've got some pin badges here. We've got a, this is, this is like a pin badge for your thing. What does it say? Have a good look at that. Thanks. This is oh, that's good. That's like the new entrance. Yeah, should we get in there? Right. <laughs> <laughs> have a look. And you've got these. Um, oh. Don't do that, Maze. Yep. Got all the uh, t shirts and bags around here. Some Subterra merch as well. Yeah, it's very well themed in here. And they've done it all. But what I find most interesting is the huge sculpture in the middle. Done a really good job of that. What with the eye on there as well. Literally the station building. That looks really, really cool. Got all your trophies on the top shelf. Just notice that eye as well up there. Very nice piece of theming. Then we've got all your water bottles, you've got your mugs and some pens and stuff along the bottom there. We've actually got a model as well of the old Nemesis cars. Model 94 for inspection only. And we have got these things here, these, we've got a single bolt and a double bolt over here. We've got your Nemesis patches here, followed by some badges. And then we got some um, autobiography of John Wardley. Obviously, who created Nemesis. We have some lovely jean jackets here um, with the original Nemesis on. And then all on the back wall here, we've got all your t shirts and hoodies for Nemesis and um, original Nemesis as well. Oh, wow. There are some beanies as well here yeah, for original Nemesis. We've got the pieces of theming in the dark. They look really, really good with all the lighting around them. There's the Nemesis egg. And then, if I walk around here, we've got the smoke effects. And there's the helicopter. With all the sound effects on as well as the uh, lighting. Yeah, it looks really, really good in the dark. Well, the eyes sure does look really good here at night. There it is. Definitely lights up the area anyway. After such a great day, such a great day. Unfortunately, Nemesis has broken down. Uh, they've actually evacuated people from, it's stuck on the lift hill around to the top there. Um, and they've actually like, evacuated people like from it uh, and walked them down the, uh, the lift hill itself. So uh, they fully emptied the queue as well, so it definitely is an opening. Yeah, we and was, even if it was, yeah. like, it's gone 8 o'clock now anyway. So. Yeah, it was, um, was, was me, there was like, oh, it's not going to open basically and we was like well we're going to wait here just in case just in case <laughs> uh, but I bet it didn't yeah but yeah. they literally emptied the queue um, so yeah unfortunately uh, obviously it had to the day had to end like this because it was such a great start as, as well with the weather like obviously the, uh, the rain came and yeah and basically washed out the last few hours here as well um, so it was a good job we did, definitely did get on it earlier I didn't just be like oh we'll get here later yeah and just have a ride in the dark. Um, so our ride in the dark on Nemesis Reborn is going to have to wait until another time. And I don't know if we'll be able, I don't know if we'll be getting to it now with us going to Paris actually at the end of this month. Um, so we'll probably have to wait, unless they obviously release any more Alton After Dark days, it'll probably be like Scarefest next time we, well, can get on it in the dark. 
but hopefully they do release some more Alton After Dark days because I think overall it has been a success. Like a lot of people have stayed. Like the queues haven't like died completely. Completely dropped off. Yeah. Like people have definitely stayed. So overall, I think. Um, I mean, with the ride as well. I don't know if that helps, but yeah. um, it definitely has been a success, hasn't it? Yeah, I'd say so. Um, I suppose just see. I suppose we'll just wait and see what happens at the other next few weekends. And, See if it drops off or if it's still busy. And if it's still busy, bring us some more uh, on After Darks. That's it. Um, but yeah, feel sorry for the people who've actually had to wait, like in this rain as well. Yeah. They've waited for like three hours and then been like evac'd and basically told, yeah, you're not getting on it tonight. So it's really unfortunate, isn't it? Yeah, it is really unfortunate. And we were just thinking, I wonder if it'll be open first thing tomorrow. Well, yeah. That's it. We'll have to. Yeah. Uh, well, we'll have to. Have to wait and see, I suppose. Yeah, but we're not going to be here tomorrow, so. No. so it and now the app yeah. doesn't even tell you, does it? So that's uh, unfortunate. Um, but overall, I think it's been a pretty successful opening day. Obviously, not this bit at the end, but um, it's been really, really good day. You know, the vibe around Forbidden Valley, like just the atmosphere. It's been brilliant, hasn't it? Yeah. Like from us arriving here at seven o'clock in the morning at the park entrance like the vibe was there straight away like the atmosphere and then when we got over to here and like all the trains were going up um, everyone was clapping weren't they yeah and yeah. basically cheering cheering it going around i mean even it's really it was it's yeah. really good atmosphere it wasn't even just the first tra train everyone was like waving and going like cheering for it. yeah it pretty much most of the trains like yeah like still an hour and a half yeah. later when we was uh, when we got on it everyone yeah. was cheering us so yeah. we just before we get on it yeah. um it's just got up there actually oh. <laughs> <Still coming. laughs> yeah so it's testing now um, Maybe it will be open first thing. So yeah, but we just saw it out now and then obviously oh, tomorrow will be, um, <laughs> be, obviously then tomorrow they'll just um, open it won't they, but um, yeah unfortunate about the night ride, but we managed to get on the Smiler and the Wicker Man didn't we? Uh, the Wicker yeah, Man did break did. down on us, that's why we was like in there for quite a while. Yeah. Um, and um, we thought the Smiler was with the Ray, but it didn't. Yeah. We did get on Oblivion actually as well, yeah. yeah. So we did the Abrave. Yeah, okay. um, so overall up. actually, with it being like a busy day as well, I think we've not done too bad. I mean, you yeah, would expect we would have had a few rides considering the time we got here. Um, yeah. But yeah, overall really, really good. A great opening day uh, and a great atmosphere for Nemesis. And that is basically all we asked for really, wasn't it? Yeah. Like, we knew it was going to be good, but yeah, definitely like everyone coming here today there's a lot of actors around as well yes yeah, see they have got a lot of roaming actors around the area yeah. so whether that will be permanent like all the way throughout the year or if they've just got it i mean i know it might just be for the first few weekends or first few weeks or whatever but i think it is a really really nice addition i really do like all the roaming actors yeah really really helps set, hope. The, set the vibe as well yeah let's um, definitely hope they do uh, keep them throughout the season but uh, we'll have to wait and see as well for that. But they did put on as well, Alton Towers, that they are going to have a lot more like sort of roaming actors, especially at like, the events as well, like Scarefest. So uh, it's going to be good to see uh, definitely this year and what the rest of the 2024 20, season holds for uh, Alton Towers. It's looking definitely starting off. Like just, yeah, so it's looking yeah. positive from here. So. Uh, yeah, can't wait to see uh, what happens with the rest of the season. That does conclude opening day 2024. Uh, if you did all enjoy this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And thank you all so very much for watching. And we'll see you all in the next one.